Um, yeah, thanks for uh, taking your time uh, to have an interview with us. Um, uh, I'll just start with some like general questions about you guys. Um, so, uh, where did you guys meet for the first time? Uh, we all met in college at Sarah Lawrence, which is in New York. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and um, did you all study music, or what? What did you study uh, there? Yeah, we uh, we all studied like jazz and blues performance mostly. Uh, okay. Yeah, our, the music program at our school was really cool because it had a lot of different options for classes. So there was like you know orchestration, post tonal theory, chamber improv, but then. Also, you know, hip hop ensemble. Okay, cool. Lots of blues groups, jazz and prop. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, and um, are you still doing jobs uh, aside from doing music, or is this like your full time uh, job? It's, it's pretty hard to find time to do to do anything other than this. Yeah, but. we're gonna be on tour for like pretty much the next four months or so. So yeah, yeah none of us have jobs anymore. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, and um, yeah, you just said that you have you had like um, all sorts of different music stuff at your school. Um, so how come um, you do the music you do right now? So what did you? Um, why did you decide for this kind of style or not, and not like jazz or anything else? I think we like to think that we bring a little bit of all of those other influences into what we do. Okay. But we don't really have any type of set of rules that we make music with. So, yeah, we're sort of constantly integrating different different things that we've studied and just different things in music that interests us. Yeah. Um, so, what would you describe the genre that you play? Like, what, what's just as a mix, or uh, would you? Label it somehow. I like to call it impulsive rock music. Impulsive rock yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. nice. Well, like, well, like whatever, <laughs> you know, like, um, we're, if we're gonna, if Leah writes a folk ballad, we'll play a folk ballad. If we, if Leah writes like a metal tune, we'll play a metal tune. And we might play both of those within the same song. So, That's cool. yeah, yeah, pretty much whatever we want. You know, there wasn't really like a sit, like a sit down and like, this is the sound, you know what I mean? We kind of just do it the way we know how. Cool. That's good. Um, the Pact is your fourth album, right? Yes. And um, what um, do you think sets the new album apart from the older ones, like uh, everyone else, or of course you do? So The Pact is the longest that we've ever gotten to spend making a record. Okay. So there's that. Uh, we got to spend a lot more time sort of experimenting with different textures and trying songs multiple ways and seeing what feels right. This is also the first record that we've released that we've worked with a producer on mm -hmm. um, in this capacity where uh, where yeah he, he definitely had a lot of a lot of different instruments and sonic ideas to bring to the table. Yeah, it's this guy Billy Bush. He's really awesome. Cool. Cool dude, yeah. Nice. Um, how long ha have you been working on the album uh, in total? I mean it took Probably about like a year and a half from the time we first went into the studio and like cut a demo, you know, mm -hmm. not, obviously not a, something that's like on a finished product, but yeah, like the first demos we cut between that and, you know, the finished product like being completely done and mastered was a solid year and a half or so. Okay, cool. Yeah, we like to demo things a lot of times, really make yeah. sure they feel right, try different iterations. We're very, we're all very thorough. Yeah. Um... What um, inspires you for your songs? Like, where do you get your inspiration from? Being alive. <laughs> so basically, like everything that happens in your life. Um, you know, my life and beyond, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, playing here is like is your first European headlining show, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and how does it feel? Um, it feels great. This, you know, this whole run has been awesome for us. We started in the UK, um, did five shows over there, came over here, doing another five, and yeah, it's been great. There, everyone's really like turned up for us, and it's been our first time, so it's it's been really great. Well, a lot of the shows have been selling out, which is like really cool in terms of attendance. We had, you know, yeah. kind of no idea what to expect, you know, in terms of attendance for shows over here because we haven't, you know, done it before, mm. um, and then. Uh, 
more often than not, the show's been selling out and packed and really attentive, kind crowd. And oh, that's pretty awesome really, feedback then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's been great. Cool. Um, how many times have you been to Europe before, apart from playing here? So have you been to Europe before? Uh, once for me. Okay. Yeah. Where have you been? Uh, I did that classic, like, I'm going to go to Amsterdam when I'm 18 years old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How did you like it? Oh, I had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, how do how do you like uh, the places you've uh, been to uh, so far? They've all been really great. It's always just nice to play to new audiences um, and meet new people. There's some cities you'll intuitively connect more with than others, of course. But yeah, you know, we're ha we're happy to go where the people want us to come. So yeah. yeah. Um, do you have like time apart from from playing those cities to like ex explore a little bit or uh, see something or is it just not really? Yeah, yeah we're yeah, on like a so super much. intense schedule this okay. uh, this run, so it's a kind of like play the show and just travel like run to the through. next one. Yeah, we're doing ten shows in eleven days. Um, okay. One day off we had in the middle. Uh, we had to take the ferry from England over to France, <laughs> so that was like pretty much our entire travel day, just being in the van and on the boat and then. On the in the van again, so yeah, so pretty yeah. stressful, I guess. Kind of stressful, kind of tiring. You know, it's just a, it's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, but it's going great. We're having a good time. That's good. So overall, uh, um, what uh, is the difference between a European crowd and a crowd in the U.S.? I think it's hard to make generalizations like that. Mm -hmm. um, been asked this question before. You know, I think every city is different, every, the way that every person is different, and, you know, you never really know what you're going to get. I'll say one thing I noticed last night that was interesting is we, we did Cologne, and it was sold out really, really crowded, mm -hmm. and people were really quiet and attentive and didn't necessarily, like, mm -hmm. rock out super hard, but they were really present, and then once we left stage, people just it didn't, like, cheer, but just kept, like clapping for like five minutes and we were like, <laughs> we had already done like the encore thing so we were like not going to go back out but it was just like, it was like very like theater clapping for like a long time. Okay. I appreciate it. It was nice. It was like, it was cool. So that's like a Maybe different that. type of... Yeah, tendons. America's all, yeah. you know, a little more raucous, okay. if you will. So, so do you think Hamburg is going to be different? I don't know. What's your expectation? Do you? <laughs> I do, yeah. I, you do, I do think it's going to be different? I do think it's going to be more, different. More horns up here, right? Um, more so than This in is a wild probably. street. I was like, oh, it was like yeah. definitely like more lit out here than it was in Cologne last night. So, what did you play in Cologne? Uh, Blue Shell, the Blue Shell. Mm, okay. Yeah, I think it's gonna be different from Cologne. Okay. Well, hopefully everyone's very nice <laughs> and has beautiful boundaries. So. We'll, see. <laughs> well, um, yeah. Thanks for for having uh, the interview with us, and we're pretty excited to see the show ourselves. Awesome! Awesome! And Thank you guys. Thanks so much. And I hope you have an awesome show and rest of the tour. Thank you very much. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks. Yeah. See you guys on the other side. <laughs>